Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to swap your old Connected. router for a new one, get connected to it, update the firmware, and then change your Wi-Fi password the correct way. It's easier than you think, so let's jump right into it. Okay, so here on screen, I'm gonna have a video showing me disconnecting my old router and then I'm putting in the new one, right? So they always give you a standard router that comes with your internet service, right? When you sign up for your provider. I'm gonna swap it out for a much better one that has better speed and I have more control over, okay? And again, it's just as simple as unplugging the old one and plugging in the new one, or if it's a new one, just following the instructions that came with it. Now that the new router is up and running, I'm gonna connect to it for the first time. Now, I have to use the default network uh, name and password that came on the router. That's gonna be on a sticker on the back or the bottom. Mine was on the bottom, okay? Now, once I'm connected, we can go in and get everything set up the way we want. Okay, now that we have our new router up and running and we're connected to it, we need to figure out what the IP address is for it, specifically what's called the default gateway. And I'm gonna show you how to find that here on screen. We're gonna open up our run command with Windows key and R, and then we're going to type in CMD into the box next to open. That stands for command or command prompt. We'll press OK to open that, and then we're gonna type in ipconfig space slash all. Okay, just like I have here on screen, and we're gonna press enter. Now again, we're looking for the default gateway. That's a number that's gonna be something like 192.168.0.1. I have a couple examples here on screen of common default gateway numbers, but this number is really important. We need to grab it, copy, and paste it into our browser like I'm showing here. All right, now I know you're probably in a hurry to get to that Wi-Fi password because you probably wanna change it. But before we do anything, it's gonna be a good idea to update the firmware. Now mine automatically updated as soon as I came into the router UI as we call this. So again, we're pasting in that number that we got, the default gateway number we got earlier into our browser. As soon as I got here, it took me to this screen where it updated my uh, firmware and then made me change the password to get into this UI to change things. If yours doesn't automatically make you update your firmware, make sure you go in and update it yourself. All right, so now the moment you've all been waiting for. Again, remember, pasting that default gateway into our browser will take us to the UI where we can make the changes. Now that we're here, my firmware is up to date. I can go into my wireless or network settings and change not only the network name for or SSID as they call it, I can also change the password or network security key, okay? Uh, for the example, I'm just gonna change it to my new password, which is obviously not what I'm going to be keeping for long-term, but for the video, for the example, it'll do for now. Once this is done, yours might say save at the bottom. Mine had an apply up at the top. I kick, click on that and the router will reboot and make the changes Boom, that's it, you're done. Okay, everyone, that's it. You should now have your new router all set up, the firmware updated, and your Wi-Fi password locked down. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like and subscribe down below to support the channel. And if you're still having problems setting up your own router or changing the Wi-Fi password, reach out to us where my computer works. We help people just like you with issues like that all the time. Thanks for watching again, and I will see you all on the next one.